What's up guys, Matt here from Become Elite and today I wanna to do a little crossing tutorial video for you guys. A ton of you guys ask me how to do a proper cross or the technique about how to whip in a good ball into the box. So today I just want to share with you what goes through my head when I'm whipping in the ball. So there's five things to take into account when crossing in the ball, but there's one crucial step that I know is causing you guys all the problems, which I'll talk about later. So the first step, you're just going to be running down the outside of the field right along the sideline and keep the ball on the outside part of your body because the defender is gonna be following you right on the left side of your body if you're crossing it with the right, and the defender is gonna be on your right side of the body if you're crossing with your left. So dribble down with your right foot if you're on the right side or your left foot if you're on the left side. And then step two, once you get about five to 10 yards away from right where you wanna cross the ball in, whether it's the end line or if you wanna do it a little bit earlier, tap the ball inside the field about 30 degrees. So it's still going forward, but you're just tapping it in slightly. This tap in allows you to turn your hips and get squared up to cross the ball in. And that's the most crucial part is the step three is squaring your hips. So what so many players do is they're faced this way when they want to cross the ball into the left or to the right. And no matter how strong you are, it's going to be impossible to whip in a decent cross when you're faced this way and your hips are pointed this way when you want to be going this way. So what you do after you tap that ball in, you're gonna open up slightly, round your hips in, and you're gonna square your hips into the center of the field. And just by squaring the hips, it's gonna literally change the game of crossing for you guys. Because I know that's the problem. Step four is all about the plant foot. Normally when you kick a ball, you're gonna be about four to six inches away from the ball. But usually the ball is rolling forward, or it's just rolling very slowly. But with this, the ball's moving away from you pretty quickly. So what you wanna do with the plant foot is step very close to the ball. Because by the time that your foot comes to make contact with it, it's already gonna be rolling away from you. So it's all about getting that timing down of when to step down and when it's gonna be rolling away that you can swing through and connect and make good contact on the ball. So that's step four, is to step a little bit closer to the ball with your plant foot. Step number five is the contact on the ball. So what you want to do, instead of doing a normal like lace shot where you tuck in that foot and you scrape the ground with the bunion part of the foot like this and it's going to do a nice powerful shot, you're going to open up slightly and wrap your foot around more like this. So as you come down, you're wrapping your foot around and hitting it right on the in inside laces. So it's not the laces and it's not the instep, it's right in between. It's like the inside laces right there. And I always think about wrapping around the ball because as you come down and you wrap around the ball and you hit it just with that inside part of the laces, it's going to get good spin and it's going to curl back into the attacking players, but it's not going to be like a, a curled shot where it has no power. It's going to be a very solid whip in and with power. So those are my five steps, dribbling straight down the line, tapping the ball 30 degrees inside the field, squaring your hips, planting your foot closer to the ball to allow that ball to roll away from you, and then wrapping around the ball and making contact with the inside laces, not the instep and not the laces in between. And that is gonna give you a great whipped in ball with power, spin, and curling back to your attacker so they can just head it or tap it into the goal. So that's the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit like, give me a comment, and subscribe for more videos.